what do we do? Oh yes, I believe that Jesus died for my sin. I believe completely in the power of the cross to actually take my sin away. But you know what? If you knew what had happened in my life, do you know, it's, it's tough. And we handcuff ourselves to a power source that Jesus has unplugged. Are you getting this? This has no power. So why on earth do I want to be handcuffed to it? I have to tell you, I saw Helen Tween in town yesterday. And John, bless his heart, said that we'd been out to buy some bondage props for the sermon. (laughs) Helen, it's handcuffs, all right? (laughs) I meet so many people, though, who tell me, well, yes, it's all right for you. But you see, I've actually sinned in such and such a way. Or I've been a victim of somebody else's sin in my life. Or I could have done something and I didn't. So they stay handcuffed. But the Bible teaches us, as we've read in Colossians 2, that Jesus has cancelled the written code with its regulations that stood opposed to us. He took it away. So why would I still want to stay handcuffed to it? Why? But people do. We used to sing. I don't know if you ever sing it in, in Essex, but certainly in Wales. Most communions, and certainly at this time of the year, we would sing a song Calvary covers it all. My past with its... Anyone remember this? My past... Oh, mum, it is just you. <laughs> my past with its sin and shame. My guilt and despair Jesus took on him there. And Calvary covers it all. No, it doesn't. Ooh. Calvary takes it away. That is a huge difference. In the Old Testament, every sacrifice covered over sin. Jesus took it away. What did John the Baptist say? Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. As far as Jesus is concerned, sin has been taken away. So what's this all about? I'll tell you what this is all about. Sometimes we don't believe that it could be true would work for you, but not for me. You don't know what's in my background. No, I don't. And I'm not asking you to share it with me. Sometimes you work with people who are so destroyed by life. And what that's happening, they're hanging on. Do you know, sometimes it is easier to use your past to compensate for your perceptions of your present. Let me say that again. It is easier to use your past to compensate for your perceptions of your present. I only do this because of what happened to me. I am this way because of my past. If only you understood me. All you're doing is rattling your own handcuffs. Do you know the sad thing is, by now I would be walking over here and I can't because I'm still here. And what am I doing? I am adapting to living with it. Oh. We, we say, oh, we don't accept it. No, of course, but we adapt to living with it. Rather than deal with the handcuffs, I would move the lectern to get closer so it's convenient for me not to deal with. 